Hello there, senior high school students. Welcome back. This is our new lesson for senior high school general mathematics module 1. Currently, we are now in Lesson 3.5 under the Operations on Functions. Specifically, that is the Composition of Functions. Are you ready? Let's begin! What you need to know At the end of the session, you'll be able to follow the steps in solving Composition of Functions and Get the composition of functions given to functions. What's in? Before we proceed with the composition of functions, we will first review on the substitution rule of algebra. Try to look at this. If you're given y is equal to x minus 2, if x is equal to 6, what would be the value of your y? Now that means you will be using substitution. You're going to replace x with this value, which is 6, and you'll have something like this. You'll have y is equal to 6 minus 2. From here, follow my laser pointer. x, we substitute that with this value, which is 6. That's why we come up with 6 minus 2. So the answer is y is equal to 4. Let's look at another example. If you're given y is equal to x plus 4, this time we will involve a mathematical expression with a variable x. If x is equal to an expression which is 3x minus 2, how do we find y? So from there, we are going to substitute. We are going to substitute x. So meaning, we are going to replace x right here with this expression, 3x minus 2. So allow me to annotate. So you have x here. Since we're looking for y, you're going to replace that with this expression, 3x minus 2. Okay? So it would look like this. I'll erase from there. It would look like this. You have 3x minus 2 enclosed in a parenthesis. Since we are substituting x with a binomial, then we add 4 here. So from there, we are going to find if there are like terms. We are going to remove the parentheses. So we are going to add or combine negative 2 plus 4, which will give us a positive 2. So our answer here is... 3x plus 2. I repeat, that will be y is equal to 3x plus 2. So that's for the substitution rule. This time, let's proceed to the main topic. That is what's new? Composition of functions. The term composition of functions or composite functions refers to the combination of two or more functions. Let's look at this to fully understand its meaning. There. Here, as you've noticed, there are now two function machines. You have g of x and the other one is your f of x. Same with what we discuss in evaluation of functions. Okay, so focus here. We have g of x followed by our f of x. From here, when we say composition of functions, it means that from the input, we place it in our g of x, which is our function machine, then we will get the output, like this. Do you understand? And then, from the output of your g of x, you will use that, and it will serve as the input for the next function, which is your f of x. So again, we will use that as the input. And from there, it will get in, and you will get the final output, this time, it's the composition of your functions, f of x and g of x. This is how you're going to write the composition of functions. You have these symbols. We are using the circle in between f and g. You read it like this. f, follow my laser pointer, f composed with g of x. I repeat this side, you read it as f composed with g of x. 
here on the other side, which is another way of expressing the composition of function, you read it as this. F of G of X. One more time. It's F of G of X. What is it? Let's try to solve F of G of X. If you're given F of X is equal to 3X and your G of X is equal to 4 minus 5X. To do that and to guide you, let's follow these steps. Step 1, write the function in this notation. You have F composed with the G of X is equal to F of G of X. After that, let's follow step number 2. Substitute G of X. Here, our given is G of X is equal to 4 minus 5X, right? We are going to substitute this value or we are going to replace our G of X here with that expression. 4 minus 5X like this. Let's move on and let's have step number 3. Step 3 is, you will substitute g of x to f of x. One more time, listen carefully. Substitute g of x to f of x. So let's focus now, allow me to annotate, let's focus on this part. Here, you will notice that our f of x is 3x, right? So from this part, we copied 3. And this is actually our x. So here, it means that you are following our f of x. So this is 3x, wherein our x was replaced with g of x. So that is now 4 minus 5x. That's why you have this, 3 multiplied to 4 minus 5x. I repeat, you will substitute g of x to f of x. So from here, if you have 3x, that means you will substitute g of x to the value of your x here. So you will have 3 multiplied to x, right? Here, it means that you'll have 3 multiplied to g of x, which is 4 minus 5x. I hope you're able to follow. Allow me to erase. And let's continue. After that, our next step is we are going to distribute. We are going to distribute 3 like this to 4 minus 5x. So to all the terms in our binomial. So we have 3 times 4, it will give us a 12. And 3 times negative 5x will give us negative 15x. So this is now our expression. After that, we are going to arrange in decreasing order of its degree. So we are going to interchange negative 15x and 12. So we have negative 15x plus 12. So that would be our answer. So meaning f of g of x is equal to negative 15x plus 12. So you may pause this part of the video, try to look at the steps and how to get the composition of functions. So let's have a run through. We are going to write the function like this. We substitute g of x. Afterwards, we substitute g of x to our f of x. And we distribute and arrange it in decreasing order of its degree. Again, you may pause this part of the video and take your time in understanding the steps. Alright, I hope you're able to follow. This time, I want you to try this. Given f of x is equal to 2x plus 12 and g of x is equal to 12 minus x, find f of g of x. I hope you're ready with your paper and pen, so go ahead and pause the video and take your time in answering. And now, let's see if we have the same answer. Let's compare. Try to look at this. Following the same steps introduced earlier, so our step one is we are going to write the function in this form. f composed with g of x is equal to f of g of x. Second step, we are going to substitute g of x. So from here, so our g of x is 12 minus x. We are going to replace that here, 12 minus x. 
And our third step is substitute g of x to f of x. Meaning, we are going to focus on our f of x right here. And we are going to replace this x with g of x. So that's why you have like this. I will annotate for you to follow. Here, we have 2x plus 12. So here we copied 2. And this time, this was your x, and we replaced it with g of x, which is 12 minus x right there. That's your g of x, right? And then I copied plus 12. So meaning this is just your f of x, only that your x was being replaced with your g of x. Again, that was 2x plus 12, but this time your x was being replaced with your g of x. Were you able to get it? Good. So let's continue. I'll erase that and let's move on. So the next part is step four. That is we are going to distribute. So let's focus on this part. So we have two multiplied to the quantity of 12 minus x. So that means we will multiply first two times 12. That's why we have 24. After that, we multiply two to negative x right here, the second arrow. So that is negative two x. So again, the answer there is 24 minus two x and we still have plus 12. So we copy plus 12. So from there, we are going to combine like terms. Our like terms are 24 and 12. So, so both are constants there. So we are going to copy first negative 2x and then we will combine 24 plus 12. So let's see. That will give us negative 2x plus 36 considering that our last step is we're able to arrange the given expression according to the decreasing order of its degree. So that's why our final answer here is negative 2x plus 36. Were you able to get it? Do we have the same answer? If that's a yes, let me know in the comment section below. Hopefully that went well. But if not, then do not worry. You can always go back to the portion of this video to recall our steps and look at our two examples. So this time, let's proceed to what's more. I prepared an assessment for you. This is a five-item assessment to check if you know how to find f of g of x. So the instruction for this activity is... Find f composed with g of x using the two functions given in each number. So we have here 1, item number 2, 3, and we also have 4 and 5 on the other side. You can pause this video or take a screenshot and answer it during your free or available time. Then if you're using the same module, do not forget to contact your mathematics teacher and give your answer or submit your answers on your agreed date and time. Okay, what you need to remember. The term composition of functions, which is also known as the composite function, refers to the combination of two or more functions in a manner where the output from one function becomes the input in the next function. The composition of function can be written as this. So that's it. We are done with lesson 3.5. Hooray! Good job for today and I'm expecting you in the next lesson. See you!